Watching this video for the first time, my name is Miss April, and I'm a preschool teacher at Rhoda Shalom Preschool. Um, you might be in my class, and you might not be in my class, but if you are in my class, I just want to say that I miss you. And if you're not in my class, I'd just like to say welcome. We're excited to have you here today. I did one video so far where I planted um, some spinach seeds. And today I am going to plant some basil seeds and some thyme seeds in this container. And we're going to talk about a bunch of different things today. And this is going to be about a 15 minute video. And I hope that you can either enjoy watching it or maybe you can plant along with me or you can get some ideas for things that you can do at home while we're all trying to stay home and stay safe. So I happen to have this container where I had had um, flowers last year and I kept the container and I put some fresh dirt in it. I happen to have a bag of dirt left over, um, which was very lucky for me. And um, I put a little bit of plant food in here. Um, there were pellets and I took a spoon because um, I have some bigger gardening tools, um, but one, they were, it was too big. And two, if you're trying to garden with a small child, you probably want to use something that's not going to be dangerous. So just a big spoon from your kitchen is great. Um, it can be plastic or metal or wood. As long and you can use it again to actually eat off of as long as you wash it in hot water with soap um, or you can use it as your dedicated garden spoon after this it's fine um, you know and it's uh, it's a good idea to loosen up the dirt a little bit if the dirt happens to be a little bit hard you just want to kind of because the seeds need to get inside the dirt um, I will say if you're doing this inside like I am because it's a little bit rainy and cold today, you might want to put down some newspaper. Um, I didn't have any newspaper because I don't get a newspaper to my house, but guess what I did have? I had a pizza box. So I put a pizza box down um, because that was exactly the right size of what I needed. Um, but if you have junk mail or a garbage bag, that works really well too. Um, and you can spread it out on the floor and um just have fun with it and just realize that you're probably going to get dirt everywhere so just know that ahead of time and if you're the kind of person that really stresses out about getting things dirty you could have your kids wear an apron or maybe put on some old clothes that you don't care about um and maybe try to tell your kids to just try to keep the dirt really close to them and try not to fling it you know we all are doing the best we can right now right so don't stress too much this should be fun. And if it's not fun, then don't do it. Do something else. Okay, so um, I'm going to do some basil and some thyme. Now, we have basil right here. And let's see what it says about basil. It says, start the seeds indoors. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, takes about six weeks before transplanting to a garden. And then once it's ready, it needs to be in the full sunlight, okay? So if you have a place, once these um, seeds sprout, some are a bigger pot that you can plant them in. Here I have a bunch of these bigger pots in my yard, and I will be transplanting things into them as they grow. Um, and then I do have a front porch where I'm going to put everything, and it gets sunlight all day. Um, okay? So I'm going to open this up and ooh, look at the very bright green color. That's, that's a neat color. So I'm going to do half of this container with basil and half with thyme, okay, just so that it's easy for me to remember. And I'm going to just pinch a few seeds and put maybe three or four in each little container because remember if you saw my first video 
you were, you'll you know this, but if you didn't, I'll just remind you that sometimes seeds don't grow. Um, and you might plant four seeds and only one might come up. You might plant 12 seeds and none might come up. Um, it depends a lot on if there's enough sunlight, enough water, or maybe not too much water. And even inside this little tiny seed, you can barely see it. Look how tiny, tiny, tiny that basil seed is. So tiny, you can barely see it. Inside here, there's still a baby what? Right, there's a baby plant plus food for the plant. Now, remember what else we talked about? We're going to plant the thyme now. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put thyme on this side. One of the things that helps a plant know which way to grow, because a plant has to know the shoot has to go up, the stem has to go up, and the roots have to go down, is because it can feel the sunlight hitting the top of the dirt. And so the part that's warmer is the part where the green part goes. And so, oh, this seed is even smaller than the basil. These thyme seeds are even smaller than the basil. Wow. It's amazing to me that inside here is actually so much stuff packed into this little tiny seed. So that's why it's important that plants have sunlight because the sunlight is one of the things that helps them know which way to grow. And if you were in my class, we did a really nice art project, which we hung up in the hallway outside of the pre-K classroom. Well, I hope that moms and dads got to see before school ended, um, which we had seeds. And we had a picture of the roots going down and the stems going up. And remember, can you guys remember, and maybe you can tell whoever's watching this with you, what do the roots do? What are the roots? What's their job? Do you remember what the roots do? They they suck up the nutrients right they help the plants get water and they help them get kind of their food from the soil right and then remember the other thing that we talked a little bit about with when we talked about with trees when you have especially a very tall tree or plant the roots go very far down and they hold the ground and if there is a very big wind it helps the tree or the plant to stay upright and not knock over that's why sometimes when there's a great big windstorm in town you'll see things knock over but if you notice most of the trees are still standing we still, like people's lawn chairs might blow in the wind and um, there might be branches that knock down, but you don't see a lot of trees that fall over from the, when the roots rip up from the, from the ground because the roots are very strong. And that's one of their main jobs is to keep the trees and the plants in the ground, even when there's a big windstorm, okay? So now we put a little bit of fresh dirt on top, just a little tiny bit. And this soil is very, very damp. So normally I would water it, but this soil is, it's like so, so wet. And so I don't want to overwater it. So I'm going to let it sit and I will, I might water it either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, but if your soil is dry, you might want to water it. Okay. Um, so we have a little bit of time. So the other thing I'm going to do, oops, excuse my arm in the shot, I apologize, is we oh, are going to replant this sage plant. Now I've had this sage plant in my house for a while oh, over the winter and it was very little and it finally grew itself 
to big enough that I can finally plant it in a bigger pot. Um, so I have some fresh soil and I also put some plant food in here. Um, let me mix it up a little bit. And then you want to get a nice little hole inside here. Okay. And now this is kind of dry. Okay. But the surrounding soil is going to be very wet. So it's going to feel really good on this plant. It's going to be so happy to be in this nice warm soil. And we're not going to push it down hard. We're just going to be really gentle. Really, really gentle. We're just going to mound up the dirt very gently. Like I said, I'm only patting really gently. So kids, if you're doing this, if this is your job, don't squeeze it hard. Be super gentle like you're touching a little baby, okay? Or like you're touching your favorite your favorite animal, like your pet, if you have a dog or a cat, or your favorite stuffed animal, you want to be gentle with the plant. Be really, really gentle. Okay. Perfect. And so now, it used to be in this size um, container, which isn't very big, and now it's in this container. Can you see which one is bigger? pretty obvious, right? This one is much, much bigger. And so now that means that the roots will have a chance to expand and get larger. And so will the stems and the leaves will have a chance to get taller and wider. And so as long as we're here talking about plants, do you remember what we talked about with trees, but it's the same thing with plants, other kinds of plants. Remember what this, when we talked about kind of what this looks like? Kind of looks like a straw, right? And inside the plant, inside the leaf itself, if you look very closely, and I'm being very gentle, just like I'm touching a little tiny baby person, being very, very gentle, I'm using one finger. Inside here, there's lots of lines that you can see. And those are kind of like straws too. So, the roots are like straws and they suck up the water and the nutrients and then they pump it up the stem into here, which goes out into the leaf and gives the leaf itself the food. And then if you remember, there's a special thing inside green plants. It starts with a C and it's a very big word and I don't know if you remember it. It's called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is one of the things that makes a plant green. And it is actually part of the food. And it's one of the things that helps the plant to eat. Now, if you remember, when I exhale and I go, I am breathing out a certain kind of gas called, does anybody remember? Carbon dioxide. And when I breathe in, the plant is giving me a special kind of gas called oxygen, right? So we are exchanging important gas right now. The plant needs carbon dioxide to grow and I need oxygen to live. So plants are extremely important for people and people are important for plants. It's called symbiosis and that means we work together and we help each other. Yay! I think that's the theme of all of these videos so far is cooperation and being helpful and yeah because it's an important thing is being helpful. Um, so planting plants, planting trees, taking care of the trees and the plants that you already have is really important because without plants people couldn't be on this planet because we wouldn't have any oxygen. So that's one of the reasons why plants are super important. They're also important because, I'm going to tell you something, if you rub this very gently, sage, oh, smells really good. Mm. And another thing, sage and also basil and thyme that I planted, are herbs that you can cook with to make your food taste really yummy. And the spinach I planted last in the last video is actually really yummy 
you can eat it in a salad and you or you could cook it and eat it warm which i really like to eat i like to eat spinach in my lasagna or on my pizza mm, so good i love spinach on my pizza so plants are really important for a lot of reasons uh, I hope that you would like this video. I'm going to close it out now because we're hitting around 15 minutes. And if you have any questions or would like to chat with me or send me pictures of you doing science, I would love to see it. Please enjoy and have a great day. Stay home, stay healthy, wash your hands. And if you're home with your family, just try to be kind to everybody. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Thank you.